What's up everybody, welcome back to another video for 454 Gaming. I just got through playing Starting 5. For all the people who don't know about Starting 5, haven't played it yet, uh, it's basically you playing my career against a live opponent. Like you're playing online and you're controlling one team, another person is controlling another team, and it's player lock. You only get to play one position. So uh, whatever position your my player plays, that's the position you're going to take up on the team that you choose. So like if, if you're a center and you choose Denver, then you're going to be replacing Nikola Jokic. So it's best to choose a team that don't have uh, superstars at the position that you play. Me, I like to run with, uh, if, if I'm a center, I like to run with Dallas because they have shot makers. You know, uh, Kyrie, Luka, and now Klay Thompson. So just choose a team that works best uh, for your build and you'll be all right. Uh, I, I really, honestly though, I don't think this mode is worth it. I'm, I'm giving that early in the video right now. I don't think the mode is worth it. And I'm gonna explain why towards the end. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys see how it goes anyway. Basically, you can imagine it if I just explain it to you that way. It's just my career with you playing as one of the people on the NBA team. But you're online against another live opponent. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward into the video, right? And basically, as a center, I already knew I was gonna have my way because everybody knows centers rep up fastest in my career. So if you're gonna play starting five, I swear, just go ahead and be an extremely tall center and you'll probably win most games. If, unless the other guys are tall center too with good defense. But if they choose a guard or a small forward where they don't have to guard you, then you can just paint mash and just bully the CPU. And if uh, he sends help, just pass it open man. It's a simple game plan. It works easily in my career. Go ahead and do it here in starting five. Somewhere around midway through the fourth, I finally got my triple double and we started to pull away. Dallas is a good team to use if you're going through my career because like I said, Luca and Kyrie are shot makers and they're gonna help you win games and they're also gonna, they're also gonna help you get assists. You get a lot of triple doubles playing with them. So my final stat line ended up being 19 points, 20 rebounds, 12 assists, uh, I think I had a block or two in there. I know I just had a monstrous triple double against a live opponent. This is an online game, a live opponent. And I get 10,644 my points. That's it. You know how much you'll get for a triple double in the wreck? I get more of my points for that just playing on rookie in my career. If I get a triple double like that, 19 points, 20 rebounds, 12 assists, a couple of blocks, they're definitely gonna give me more than 10,600 points. Ah, oh, and for that reason, for that reason, I gotta say, this mode is just not worth it. Because if that's what I got in a triple double, if that's what I got for a triple double in a victory, what did my opponent get? I gotta think about that also. I mean, I'm getting this in a dub and I'm not happy with it. What did he get in a loss? And if I come in here and lose and only end up getting like 8,000 my points and I got to spend a whole four quarter, it's a whole four quarter game. You got to play four whole quarters. 10,600 is just not worth it. So if you guys want to go in there and have fun, go ahead and have fun. But just know that I hope your grind to 99 is already over with because you're not really going to get much as far as rep. That's all I got for right now, guys. Until the next time, it's been me, your boy, E.C. Rallo, and I'm out. I love you, Kira.